hello everyone so today's class will discuss about the evolution of microprocessors the beginning of microprocessor era started with the invention of transistor the transistor was uh, transistor is a three terminal device and it was invented in the year 1947 by william shockley john badin at bell laboratories after that the era of silicon technology started with the invention of integrated circuit so integrated circuit was the integration of many transistors diodes resistors on a single chip in the year 1959 and then came the logic gates using transistors in 1960 small scale integration this is small scale ssi small scale integration so they were you doing the all your counters registers as per the or the, they were designing the logic gate circuitry as per the customer application at that time then the progress then the progress in the ic technology resulted into integration of all functional units of cpu onto a single chip this single chip is known as microprocessor and it was invented in the year 1971 by intel corporation so let's look into the family of uh, intel along with the other microprocessors which have evolved over the period so the first microprocessor which was commercially available was intel 4004 it was consisting of 2300 transistors and it is a 4 bit microprocessor a 4 bit microprocessor means the alu of the microprocessor is capable of processing the 4 bit data and it was released in the year 1971 and it was operating at the clock frequency 400 to 800 kilohertz so this is the clock frequency and it was primarily used in calculators the main application of it was in the calculators and then came intel 8008 which was a 8 bit microprocessor in the year 1972 which was consisting of 3500 transistors on it and it was operating at a frequency 500 to 800 kilohertz and in the year 1974 intel came up with 8080 it is also a 8 bit microprocessor having 6000 transistors on it and this was 10 times faster than the 10 times faster than 8008 so after this 8080 motorola also came out with mc6800 so it is also a 8 bit general purpose processor and it was requiring plus 5 volts it was requiring plus 5 volts so unlike the 8080 8080 was requiring plus 5 volts minus 5 volts and plus 12 volts see here the power supply is limited to plus 5 volts and then intel has released in 1976 one more processor 8085 which is like a upgrade of intel 8080 and it was requiring plus 5 volts the power supply intel 808 8085 was requiring plus 5 volts and uh, it is a it is also a 8 bit microprocessor with 65k transistors on it and in year 1978 intel came up with 
a 16 bit microprocessor very important intel came up with 16 bit microprocessor which is intel 8086 with 29000 transistors which was running between 5 to 10 megahertz usually 5 8 and 9 megahertz and at the same time even motorola motorola also came up with msync 68000 which is also a 16 bit microprocessor and after that intel came up with uh, 801886 802886 and 80386, 486 and 80586 was nothing but Pentium. So comparatively 80186 and 80286, 80386 came up with, it was like more efficient than, the, than its predecessors. So Intel 80386 was the first processor to introduce paging. You know that like when we when we have to transfer the data from the secondary memory to the primary memory onto the chip, we use the paging mechanism. So you might have learnt in the computer organization. So this paging mechanism was first introduced in 80386. It is a 32-bit microprocessor and it was having 2.75 lakh transistors on it and it was operating it. 16 to 33 megahertz clock and coming to intel 80486 it was having 12 lakh transistors and it is also a 30 bit 32 bit microprocessor and was released in the year 1989 and then came the pentium so pentium 1 pentium 2 pentium 3 series so the number of transistors were Pentium 1 31 lakhs, Pentium 2 71 lakh and Pentium 3 93 lakh and they were introduced in the year 93, 97 and 99. So they were uh, 32, yeah, Intel, Intel Pentium 1 was, it can be operated both at 32 as well as 64 bit microprocessor and others also, others were uh, 64 bit microprocessor. And the operating frequency was Pentium 1 150 to 200 megahertz, Pentium 2 230 to 450 megahertz and Pentium 3 0.05 to 1.4 gigahertz. And in the year 2008, in the year 2008, Intel released Atom processor and which also is a 32 which can be operated as a 32 or 64 bit microprocessor and it was having single and uh, it, it is it is having a single or dual core processor it is a very important terminology so single means only one core and uh, dual core means two cores so the presence of more than one core so if I have two cores what happens is that it allows the computer to execute multiple processes at the same time so thus enhancing the speed of operation so the main characteristics of intel atom was it was a low power and small size processor and it was widely used in portable netbooks it was widely used in portable netbooks yeah then came the intel core 2 duo processor which is a very popular microprocessor and it was released in the year 2006 it is a 64 bit microprocessor with 290 million transistors so it was released with dual core and quad core 
in two versions it was released in two versions dual core and quad core dual core means as you know two cores and quad core means four cores as i told you having multiple cores allows the computer to execute multiple processes at the same time so the core 2 do processor was widely used in desktops and laptops whereas the core 2 quad core 2 quad was used for business purposes and next intel core i3 intel core i3 was released in 2010 it was released in 2010 and it was operating at 1.22 3.7 gigahertz clock it is also a 64 bit microprocessor and it was supporting the intel i3 was supporting hyper threading and it has inbuilt it has inbuilt security features it has inbuilt security features and it has a dual core processor construction wise it has a dual core processor and intel i5 intel core i5 so intel uh, core i5 processor was having four cores it is a four core processor and it was used uh, like the turbo boost facility the turbo boost facility was first introduced in intel core i5 and it is op it operates at 1.06 to 3.6 gigahertz and it was released in the year 2009 it was released in the year 2009 and then core i7 intel core i7 it is a 64 bit microprocessor and which also has four core processors and it was also operating at 1.6 nearly the same clock frequency as of core i uh, core i5 and then intel core i9 it was introduced in uh, this is introduced in 2017 it is introduced in 2017 it is a 64 bit microprocessor designed for high performance computing support extreme gaming and mega tasking so it has increase in number of cores and threads so it has come up with increased number of cores and threads and it has designed for high performance extreme gaming and mega tasking so this is about the evolution of microprocessor from the transistor to microprocessor and the first microprocessor this is very important from the examination point of view the first microprocessor intel 4004 all the details are very important and then intel 8085 so how many bit processor it is what is its clock frequency and when it was released and how many transistors are there on 8085 so these are the kind of questions you can expect and intel 8086 so first one intel 8085 and intel 8086 and these uh, core i3 core i5 core i7 core i9 these are the trending processes so one should have an idea of what are these and what are the what they are designed for and also their constructional details so this core i3 the i stands for so i is nothing but titanium processor and it is only the name given by the intel it is a name given by the intel for these series 
score i3 core i5 i7 i9 so usually what the students do is they give the number i3 i4 i5 i6 i7 i8 and so on so please remember we have i3 5 7 9 odd numbers the easiest way is remember with the remember like they are odd numbers 3 to 9 thank you